It is the 25th of the 12th, 2011. And this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and start on SOP.net. Sak Sakurajima back online. Several impressive eruptions. Um, they said they had a. Uh, we'll see static discharge of lightning, lava bombs, missiles, projectiles, and the entire mountainside covered in lava. So it's having some. It's a very active volcano ongoing. Uh, it's had a pretty good day today, and they have video of that. United States White Christmas Eve brings travel misery to South Southwest as scores of shut roads strand travelers. Travelers across the New Mexico and Texas are facing miserable holiday travel conditions today after a snowstorm hit the region. More than a foot of snow was dumped on the region yesterday with high winds making driving conditions treacherous. Hundreds trapped as snow fell brings part of Greece to standstill. Hundreds of drivers remained trapped on Friday as a cold front of heavy snowfall and gale force winds swept across several parts of central and northern Greece. Australia. Darwin on alert as cyclone develops offshore. Darwin residents are bracing for wild weather on Christmas Day as cyclone heads towards the top end coast. The Bureau, the Bureau of Meteorology has upgraded Darwin from a cyclone watch to a cyclone warning. It's predicted a top tropical low at, off the top end coast will develop into a Category 1 cyclone around 4 a.m. ACST, strengthening into a Category 2 system by 10 p.m. Uh, they're expecting gusts up to 110 kilometers per hour. Absolutely no progress is being made at Fukushima nuclear plant, undercover reporter says. Uh, this is ongoing with what I reported last night. And that's about all new they have today. Over to the extinction protocol, we've got some war drums going. Iranian Na Navy starts 10-day war, war game in volatile Strait of Hormuz, and they're practicing shutting the strait down. And they're saying um, anything goes. Uh, 2012 Restlessness New World Protest Movements March Across the Globe from Yemen to Moscow, uh, what, to Seattle to Washington, all over the world. And here's an interesting story Electric Universe Scientists find solar winds can degrade or short circuit planetary magnetic fields. And they're saying the solar wind has very much to do with uh, the weakening magnetic field that is going on right now. At least that's the official story. Moderate earthquake hits Pakistan as trembles, tremors rumble through India. They had a 5.0 magnitude earthquake. I found this crazy story. A uh, mysterious space ball crashes down in Nambia grasslands. A strange metal ball dropped out of the sky and slammed into a remote grassland in northern Nambia recently, according to press reports. This is in Africa. The 14-inch wide, 35-centimeter metallic sphere hit the ground at about, about 480 miles north of Windhoek, an African country's capital. It left a crater 13 inches deep and 12 and a half feet across, reported on Thursday. And so Apparently said it was made out of two pieces and it was welded together. Um, they checked and see what it was. It wasn't explosives and they asked NASA and the European Space Agency to uh, assist and uh, what the heck is it. I thought that was pretty interesting. Space debris falling from the sky. Over to Ice Age now. We've got a hard freeze in Antelope Valley, California. you got to remember this is where a lot of our fresh vegetables and fruits are grown and uh, this frost damage will affect our crops. Over to the RSOE, the cold wave continues in uh, India. Um, volcanic activity in the Phyllis, Philippines. Mount Bulusan is put on alert. Uh, heightened mag, um, earth tremors and whatnot, and they're telling people to get the heck out of there. Um, we've got tornadoes in the state of Georgia, North Georgia, due to severe storms rolling through that area. 
the volcano eruption in Chile, um, that's that big gash one that was bit still ongoing. Um, basically, they, they have a story saying uh, this one ski resort town's almost normal sometimes when the wind's blowing in the opposite direction, uh, but there's always like a, a coat of ash over everything. So this volcano is continually. Tornadoes in Alabama, they updated that report to say five confirmed tornadoes. Um, the strongest one was an EF1, so that typical branches down, roofs and shingles, and uh, we know the drill. The flash flooding in Tanzania continues um, at um, emergency levels for sure. Several hundred people dead and uh, just an ongoing crisis situation for those people. Um, the aftershocks continue in New Zealand. Uh, they're still dealing with the rumblings going on down there today. And uh, that is about all I have new for you tonight, climate change wise. So over to the nuclear stuff, there's really not a lot new going on. Uh, e, e News has basically two new stories tonight. NPR on Japan's paranoid guinea pigs. And they have an audio um, story on that, and that's basically the scientific research that's going on in the Japanese public right now. And another story, top government nuke official warned Tokyo may have to evacuate. Now this was back on March 14th, and uh, they pretty much suppressed this information finally bubbling to the surface. That's about all new they have tonight. Uh, just remember to have fun no matter what you do today, and uh, enjoy what you can everybody. Thanks.